What is High Performance Liquid Chromatography? High Performance Liquid Chromatography (HPLC) is a fast column liquid chromatography method, where a solvent is passed through a column under high pressure. Like every other form of chromatography, HPLC separates a liquid sample into its constituent parts, on the basis of the differences between molecules of the sample mixture and the molecules of mobile and stationary phases. For chromatography to occur, there must be a stationary phase and a mobile phase. The adsorbent normally is a solid, or a liquid, in nature and the mobile phase normally a liquid, or a gaseous matter. The solvent is responsible for carrying the constituents of the Samoli mixture, through the stationary phase. More lagging is experienced in components which interact more with the stationary phase. In HPLC, a pressure pump forces the solvent, mobile phase, together with the sample mixture, through a column with a stationary phase material, normally a solid. In the column, each component of the mixture will interact differently, with the stationary phase. Due to the interaction with the stationary phase, these components in the mixture will separate, each exiting the column on its own. It is important that the temperature of both the phases be kept constant. Components of an HPLC instrument. Any HPLC instrument generally comprises of 1. Columns. This is where the stationary phase material is placed. It is about 5 mm in diameter and can be as long as 300 meters. 2. Pumps. These supply high pressure of up to 400 atmospheres, that forces the mixture and solvent through the column. 3. Sampler injector. This delivers the mixture in the subject to the mobile phase. 4. Detector. This device is located at the end of the column. It facilitates quantitative analysis of the different components of the mixture. The device detects the components as they flow out of the column. UV spectroscopy is a commonly used detector. Different types of high-performance liquid chromatography. Different types of HPLC exist on the basis of the stationary phase system. Different materials used in the stationary phase have different methods of interaction with components. There are four different types of HPLCs. 1. Size Exclusion HPLC. The material used in the stationary phase in this type, operates on the basis of components molecular size. The material has pores of specific sizes. The larger molecules are eluded faster than the smaller ones. 2. Ion Exchange HPLC. This type of HPLC operates on the basis of ionic charges. The adsorbent has ionic charges that are opposite to the subject constituents ionic charges. Constituents with a higher ionic charge will experience more attraction and so they will lag through the column. Those with a lower ionic charge will experience lesser attraction and they will be eluded fast. 3. Normal Phase HPLC. The basis of the operation of normal phase HPLC is polarity. The solvent is nonpolar, normally an organic compound, and adsorbent polar. Polar materials will interact more with each other as opposed to polar and nonpolar interactions. The less polar components of a mixture will be eluded faster than the more polar components. 4. Reverse Phase HPLC. In this type, the solvent is polar, hydrophilic, and adsorbent nonpolar. It is the opposite of the normal phase HPLC. The nonpolar components will take longer to exit the column. Uses of HPLC in pharmaceuticals. In the pharmaceutical industry, it is mainly used for analytical studies. Manufactured drugs are always under constant analysis to check for compliance with the required standards and determine their dosage. We shall discuss some more topics related to this topic in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos as we have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.